Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you the process for making these floating little um, particles. Someone asked me to make a tutorial about it, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. Alright, so here we are at the main project. Let's go ahead and open up a couple resources. First thing I'm going to open up is our room or our level. This is what our level looks like at the moment. And we're going to be working inside of our game controller. Now I usually have a game controller which sort of manages um, all of the different aspects of my game. I recommend that you have something similar. And this kind of runs persistently throughout and it does a couple things for me like load some of my player stats or um, you know managing a couple events that I want to always happen um, regardless what level I'm in so we're gonna do a couple things in here first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform a randomized function and we are gonna create our particle system And I also want to let you guys know that this is definitely not the only way to do this. This is probably uh, not even the best way to do it. This is just the way that I do it, the way that it works uh, for me, and the way that it looks good for for my game. I like the way that it looks. Um, and I think that's very subjective. I think that this tutorial is probably going to give you a good uh, starting ground, a good foundation to perhaps maybe uh, make your particle a lot better. Uh, but for the most part, this is probably good to get you started, which is what I was doing. I was just doing it to kind of get started and then accidentally ended up loving the way that it looked and just kept it. All right, so I created my particle system here and then over here I'm adjusting the depth for it, the overall depth for that uh, particle system. And I'm gonna create a new event to perform a cleanup here. And it's always, uh, it's always good to clean up after using particle systems so we don't have any memory leak problems that's about it that's about all we have to do now uh, to manage our particle system we're creating a global one um, we're setting its depth and this is a great way for us to tap into this particle system at a later time if we have to which is one reason why i like doing it that way all right so we can close this and i'm going to create our particle now And uh, maybe I'll call it something like um, part embers, right? Because it's kind of like a floating ember. I don't really know what it is, but it kind of looks like a like an ember. And uh, I usually uh, use part for particle, and I put these inside of an effects group that I have just to keep everything sort of um, organized. So we're going to have a create event in here. This is where we're going to start building our particle. I'm just making some variables to just make it a little easier on myself when I have to type some of these up. Also, no uh, pro at using particles. Particles is a really uh, big topic, very powerful engine. So, uh, I definitely recommend using particles uh, whenever possible. They do offer a lot of really cool effects. And 
here I'm just sort of defining um, the region for this particle. And I kind of want this to be across the entire uh, display window. This is the shape of the particle that I want. For me, it's kind of like a, a rectangle. And this is how it's going to be distributed. Now we're going to control the look of it a little bit, how this particle is going to look. And there's so many options here, I'm definitely not even utilizing all the options. Just the alpha values. color of it. And this is where you can get creative um, with your particular particle and how you want it to look for your for your style of game. how long my particle is going to live for. I'm just kind of setting it up for, um, you know, 60 frames a second. So it's about two, about two seconds, between two and a half seconds. So they all kind of, uh, kind of fade out at different times and kind of give us a little bit of variety. It's just a scale. Which, I mean, we can vary this too. I mean, I think it might be a really cool idea to have some variety there. Again, it's all really just based on what looks good for your particular design. This is a very flexible system, and unfortunately, uh, there is no uh, right way to do it. You kind of just have to do it over and over and over until you find something that looks good and something that you like. I think that's about all we have to do. We've set the alpha, we've set the color, uh, dictated the life of it, the scale, and, and the gravity for it, which is kind of giving you the direction in which it's going to be moving in. My particle's kind of uh, moving from right to left, so I set it to 180. Um, and it's a kind of very light gravity. I think this might be all we need. All right, let's go ahead and save this and probably have to drop this into our room. So let's go to our room. Let's look for that. Let's kind of pop it here. Let's press play and let's see if this works. All right, so we got a little bit of an error here. I think we might just have a typo here. Let's see.
Oh my goodness. Look at this. Amateur hour. Put an underscore. All right. And there we have it. You have particles now. This is a full uh, particle system with these little embers floating around, these little yellow icons. And I just love the way that this looks. Um, of course, every 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 game is going to be a little bit different. Um, you just have to play with these particles and design whatever suits your your game. But you can see we have the yellow. We can see that it's going through different colors and gray colors, and you can see how uh, they're affected by the gravity and direction that we've added. And of course, the depth that puts it kind of in the forefront of everything. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching it. Uh, you know, go ahead and share, share your your particles. Share in the comments below, and uh, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope I taught you something. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. All right, thanks for watching.